Hello, Paul here, and I want to answer a question that I get a lot. Just got an email the other day from uh, Manek Roy. Uh, so nonetheless, this is usually how it goes. Uh, I'm new to building websites. I need to build one, but I'm confused as to which software to use. Edge Animate, Reflow, Muse, where to start from. I'm a beginner. What? What's the deal with all these little icons that I see right down here, in fact? Uh, what software program do I use, especially if I'm a beginner? That depends on your job, quite frankly, the job that you have in or the projects you're working on, okay? If it's going to be very robust, okay, so more of a large-scale company website, you might consider using Dreamweaver or Brackets, okay? But if you're an independent designer, maybe you're doing print, you might want to learn Muse, but I'm gonna click through all of these and just show you uh, really their strengths, okay? So overall, we have Adobe Muse CC, which is awesome because I can drag and drop elements. You can see this text. I can change that text at any time if I wanna change it at all, not a big deal. Uh, other things I can do is use scroll effects. In fact, let's just preview this site in a browser. Now, this is based on a lynda.com course, so you have that nice depth when you scroll down, and that's what I like as a designer. So as I scroll down, you can see, and this is uh, blurry right here, the Christ there in Rio. And as you scroll up, it comes into focus, okay? So those are the fun tricks and just cool things you can do in Muse. And know what? You're not seeing any code in here at all. So if it's really straightforward, you probably want to use Muse, okay? Small business website, for instance. Even I made this course on lynda.com, which is a small business website. So put that together, it's as simple as laying out a page and there you are. Now, what if you wanna go beyond just creating uh, one website, okay? So there's some interactivity I can do here, but overall, I want something more robust. Well, whether this is for a, like a marquee image or a, an infographic, you might consider using Edge Animate. And with Edge Animate, it's sort of the drag and drop functionality you expect. I can see, say, these ears, or if I wanna drag out something else like that box, you can see that I can change the color of it. It's all really straightforward, right? And it works in a, uh, a very visual way, okay? Even when it comes to the timeline, you have a timeline down here, which is what you'd expect, seeing as it's called Edge Animate. Selecting these ears, check this out, guys. This is for a drag and drop course, but you can see right in here. Okay, well you can write your own JavaScript. So if you wanna start diving into the code, you can use Edge Animate and create a really unique experience. And not only that, if you wanna just use some code out of the box, you can see you can do that right there by adding that code right there, okay? So drag and drop code, but you can write custom JavaScript as well. Let's run this project. This is the drag and drop project as you'd expect drop that on, you get the idea, you can have fun, and create a really unique experience. Now I can take this and I can actually bring this into Muse, which is awesome, because at the end of the day, all I get from Edge Animate is gonna be HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You get the idea, it's a lot of fun, that's also on lynda.com, let's move on. Let's say I wanna create something more robust, maybe I have a larger client, uh, say for instance, like uh, adobe.com, you wouldn't really make that in Muse, you'd write that usually with HTML and CSS uh, so you can get and meet those specific needs. You might consider something like Dreamweaver. And this is uh, Ryan, designer for hire. Pretty straightforward, but look, I have this visual view and there's actually CSS associated with any one of these rollovers. But even as I dive in here, this is basically a browser running in Dreamweaver. So I can jump in here and I can add, again, imagine editing in a browser, huge being able to do that. But you know what? We know in Dreamweaver, you're not afraid of the code. So here you are, split view. You can see that content right here. And that's where it's powerful, letting you edit the HTML, CSS, whatever the case may be uh, in this split view. So it's the perfect designer developer uh, app, if you will, okay? So, and again, I can drop in an edge animate piece in here if I want to. Okay, now I also get asked about uh, Reflow because I did a course on Reflow. Well, what does that do? Here's a Reflow project and Reflow just really allows you to create a web page and really see its responsiveness. So you can set up a responsive website this way and it's really a great way to sort of sell in 
an idea for a site. So if I just create a new project, just so you can see everything is flexible. As I drag that out, I have visual controls for changing it and it is flexible. And at any time I can add a breakpoint or media query. And at this size, if I want this to be smaller on a mobile device, I can adjust it accordingly or even change the color if I need more contrast on a mobile device. But those are the simple changes I've made to this. But really all you're getting out of here is you're getting the HTML and the CSS. So I can copy this, paste it into Dreamweaver, but I'm not gonna build a full website in Reflow. It's really for wireframing and comping out ideas in a responsive manner. Lastly, brackets. So if you're doing a lot of development, you can use brackets because you get this clean interface. Look at how we have this lack of panels, okay? So just give me the code and give me the code hinting that I'd expect. So I can hit Command E and I can look up the various properties that are associated with that class, okay? So you have the, the definition right there and everything is laid out nice and neat. You can do that with a number of elements, but serving up that content when it's ready, having that live viewer, live connection with brackets, you can see it right here. This is the page I'm developing. And even going beyond that, check this out. I love this. Uh, being able to actually take, for instance, a PSD file. Check this out, opening up a PSD. So if you as a developer need to steal a certain color or text or even image, you can do that right here. I can copy that text and I can get the CSS and I get the code hinting for this element as I start typing since I have it selected, but really allowing you as a developer to pick and choose what you want from this PSD. But there it is, hopefully that helps clear up what you'd use these different apps for. Again, more for uh, print design. As you dive more into web design, you'd get into Dreamweaver. Maybe use Reflow if you wanna do some uh, quick uh, wireframing and then you'll eventually end up in brackets if you're a developer, to be honest with you. So hopefully that's cleared up some of the confusion amongst the different apps. Again, they're all powerful. If you're a Creative Cloud member, you have access to them all. I encourage you to try them all out for yourself. Thanks so much for watching.